Hello, Matthew here from UChat. So in today's video, um, this is a bonus video, okay? I, I want to make some update about the WhatsApp e-commerce, native e-commerce course, um, because um, I have added something very cool and I want to share these two updates with you, okay? So first of all, let's go to the dashboard. And from here, you're able to see in generate the checkout URL, I actually, have something that um, you can save. For example, previously in that training course, you already saved the order ID into this WhatsApp order ID user fields, right? And here we have another that is called JSON operation. So let me sh let me show you what I had done with that. So you can see you can find the JSON operation from the basic actions. Okay, and what we do is we actually load the item from the JSON and where we are finding that the value is from the order and then all items. Okay, so you can click this and here you can use this order system fields and then you can scroll down and select this one. So it will save whatever in your cart. Okay, so after you use its action and I have another JavaScript function that is to format the order in a nice display receipt. Okay. So I will share this code so you can uh, select this source. Uh, you can create source parameter and use this autumn, this whole, or you can use this atom source and the cotton atom as the whole. Okay. And this is the sample data, and I will actually uh, I will actually share this screenshot, and also I'm going to share this sample um, sample code. So this is the screenshot. Okay, sample sample data, and I will paste it over here. You can you can use in your site. Okay, and here is the sample cart item. Sample cart item. Okay, paste this. So um, and here is a is actually a little bit of the JavaScript, and I will paste the JavaScript over here. So you can use this JavaScript. And then the result is actually saved into a user custom fields. I save it to uh, save it into the text, and this text is displayed. Um, you can display. I can display over here before the user start the checkout, or you can use it after the payment is received. You can display the text over here as well. So basically, that will show a very nice listed. Uh, you know. Um, order so that the user can use. Okay, so I will share this um, shared documents actually in our learning course. Okay, in in this course it will be at the module four, and you will be able to get access to the code. Okay, so this is one of the updates we have making, and another update we actually found is if you are using WhatsApp templates. You are you need to dynamically um, generate the variables right to use in the template, and we found that um, we needed to add another action. So, for example, you need to replace this is one already in the course, right? You need to replace this um, website URL so that you only left with um, uh, you know the end of the variable, okay? Uh, but we found that uh, for PayPal. It will not work it because somehow it add a space at the end of that variable. So we actually add another action that is called um, it's it it is trim trim text. So basically, whatever whatever variable whatever variable you are have, we add another action is set variable value and here you can just find um, PayPal checkout URL 
okay in these operations you can just need to have a trim text okay and also you select the same paypal checkout url so basically it will remove the space at the end of url so that will work and uh, and then the um the dynamic part checkout url for paypal will work okay i use that directly in the message template and then when the user click that button they will able to redirect to the paypal and uh, you know um, complete the payment so basically that's it okay that's the bonus lesson this works for cloud api and also for 360 dialogue basically two things okay one you need to make some changes if the paypal url message template checkout is not working you just need to trim the text okay and and also you can check when you click that button what the url looks like is there any special characters append at the end of url or something like that so that is first okay another is um with with a little bit of javascript function you can actually um rearrange and rearrange and send the user the you know whether it's um, before the card before the checkout or after the payment is confirmed it will be act like the you know receipt okay it'll have every item the quantity uh, the single price the total price and also the to uh, the whole price for the order okay it's just something uh, if you want you can add something as extra to make your uh, checkout experience much, much better. Okay. So I, as I said, I will share this shared documents at the end of this, um, at our course. So if you needed to reference this and you can, um, you can watch this video and also you can, um, you can set up this in your flow. Okay. Yeah, that's all. Thank you. Bye.